Hello everybody! In this video you will learn about incognito mode in Google Chrome and Yandex browser, private window in Opera and Mozilla Firefox, and in private in Microsoft Edge. We'll talk about how they work and how you can enable, disable and use them. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialist will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. When you visit different websites, the browser collects certain information about your actions. Private mode in browsers means that they don't save any data about the websites you visited and things you searched for. The pages you viewed and the files you downloaded are not shown in the browser history. All new cookie files are deleted as soon as you close all private windows. All top browsers support such private mode, but it has different names depending on which browser you are using. To start it in Google Chrome, go to Menu and select New Incognito window. As you can see, you can also start the Incognito mode in Chrome by pressing Ctrl Shift N. You can visit our channel and watch a video about hotkeys in popular browsers. You will find the links in the description. If you want to view a link, but you don't want to be followed by a ton of ad banners, you can also open such link in the incognito mode. To do it, right-click on it and select Open link in incognito window. As a result, the window or web page will open in the incognito mode. An incognito window usually differs from a regular browser window by its interface or special markings. In case with Google Chrome, an incognito window has a dark theme and a symbol like a man wearing glasses and a hat. To leave this mode, just close the window. Now let's check if the browser history shows the pages that we have just opened in the incognito mode. As you can see, it doesn't show anything. Everything I have just shown applies to other popular browsers as well. The only difference is the name they use for this private mode. To start incognito mode in Yandex browser, go to Settings and select Incognito mode, or press Ctrl Shift N. You can also right-click on the browser icon in the taskbar and select a New Incognito window. To do it, right-click on it and select Open link in Incognito window. In case with Yandex browser, an incognito window has a dark theme and a symbol of dark glasses. The incognito mode in Opera is called Private Window. You can turn it on in one of the following ways. Click on the menu and select New Private Window. Or press Ctrl Shift N. Right click on the Opera icon in the taskbar and select New Private Window. Right click on a link and select Open link in Private Window. After you close such a private window, all data will be deleted. To ensure better privacy, you can also use the VPN option integrated into Opera. In one of my videos, I've already shown you some things about VPN and how to use it. You will find the link in the description. The incognito mode in Mozilla Firefox is also called Private Window. You can turn it on in one of the following ways. Click the menu button and select New Private Window. You can also use a key sequence to do it. For Mozilla, it is Ctrl Shift P. After clicking on Mozilla Firefox icon in the taskbar, select New Private Window. Right click on the link and select Open link in New Private Window. In Private Window mode, Firefox also protects you from tracking to prevent certain websites from collecting data about your online behavior. In Microsoft Edge, the incognito mode is known as in private. Just as in other browsers, there are several ways to enable this mode in Microsoft Edge. Go to Settings and click on New in private window. In the taskbar, right-click on Edge icon and select New in private window. 
To turn on the private mode with the hotkey combination, Edge is similar to Mozilla. It also uses the key sequence Ctrl Shift P. As you do that, an in private window will open in Microsoft Edge. To exit the private mode in any browser, just close the private window. This will remove all data about user activity from the browser. However, you should always remember that the websites you are visiting can also save information about users. For example, if you use incognito mode to sign in your Google account, all other web search data will be shown in Google search history. In this case, disable monitoring of your web search to prevent saving your search history in your Google account or just clean it. In one of my previous videos, I have shown it in detail. You will find the link in the description. Talking of mobile versions of browsers, if a desktop version of your browser has a private mode, the mobile version will have it as well. You can start it from the Browser menu and from the right-click menu. And you can also start it by pressing and holding your finger on the link. The name and functions of the private mode in the mobile version of the browser will be the same as in its desktop version. That is all for now. If you think this video is useful, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching and good luck!